You're watching CP24, and we're joined live now by Jane Cullingworth, Executive Director of Skills for Change, and Juan Orozco, recipient of the Skills for Change Graduate Award, to talk about the new Pioneers Awards Gala that is happening next Thursday, and a big event it is. Congratulations to you, Juan. Thank you so much. Talk to me a little bit about what New Pioneers is all about. Okay. It's an event where we recognize the contributions of immigrants and refugees to, to our society. And it's, uh, it's an event where people have nominated uh, people for the awards. And Juan is our Skills for Change Graduate Award, which means that Juan went through one of our programs at Skills for Change. It's a lovely event. We have about five, 600 people come out, um, employers, politicians, community folks, educational, people from educational institutions, regulatory bodies, all the stakeholders um, that work around uh, issues of employment and, and uh, immigrants. And where do the nominations come from? Do you from, just ask the general community? Absolutely, yep. So anybody could nominate uh, an immigrant in a number of the different award categories that we have. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, Juan, tell me uh, what you have been nominated for. Yes, uh, this is a very good moment for the Latin American people. I was nominated for to mentoring engineers for aim professional training professionals to get the license as a professional engineer. Uh, How did you find the transition coming here and pursuing a career in engineering? How was it for you? It's not easy, it's not difficult, it's just to have a positive attitude. It's question to determine to success and that's it. It's to to overcome any any challenge and any barriers to to faith and determination. And what kind of barriers are out there? Because part of this is sort of shining light on sort of some of the obstacles that new immigrants have to face when they're coming to Canada and they're trying to get accredited in, in their field of study or work that they've been used to in their home country. What did you have to have to face or what do you help other people with facing here yeah, in Canada? Yeah, the more, the more difficult is fair. It's fair that like uh, every sensitive human being has fear and it gives emotional support. We right. need emotional support, it's just that. Right. Emotional support, when, when you overcome the fear, everything, every door is going to be open and Skill for Change, give me five years ago, Skill for Change opened my eyes to give me the opportunity to go through the culture, to the Canadian culture and that's it. It was simply just to get an action plan and day by day you do to, to do your your job right okay talk to me a little bit more then about skills for change because mm -hmm. that seems to be a very important link here right so we're a community-based nonprofit organization we've mm -hmm. been working with immigrants and refugees for 25 years and we provide a number of, tr of different programs we help people with language uh, skills upgrading and employment preparation programs and we work very closely with employers because when people come to Skills for Change, they really want to get in and out as quickly as possible to get into, into their field of practice. And so that's what we focus on, is helping people navigate that process in order to be working in their field. So they come in and they see you, and what sorts of things can they learn? They can learn sort of English, yep, like ESL be. training. Yep, exactly. And it could be, we have a number of programs that are very specific to different occupations. So one came through our engineering program okay uh, we have a program for teachers we have a program for accountants we're about to start a program for doctors so they're very specialized programs to help people get into their occupation do you actually place them with employers then yep. when they're done the uh, yep. the skills training it, it works differently in different programs but yes the ultimate goal is to get people actually linked into the into the workplace now you have a front row seat then in some of the obstacles and yes. barriers that are faced here. Yep. Maybe even some of the legislation that yep. some people point to that really needs to be changed. Yep. Uh, I know the McGuinty government has said that they want to start working on trying to get immigrants who can start working in their regular and accredited field yep. right away as soon as they come into the province. Where, where else do you see we might uh, need to be changing the legislation? Um, I mean, some good work has happened already around legislative change, um, pr provincially. Uh, I think part of it is around, maybe not so much legislation, but around a, a better coordination between federal and provincial and municipal levels of government. And a lot of work has been done in intergovernmental kind of cooperation, so we're, we're definitely making headway. I think work, working with employers is really critical, and that's, again, not necessarily legislative, but it's more around really providing opportunities for employers to, to, to really see the contributions that immigrants and refugees can make to the to the community. So some of that's around changing attitudes. Right? So it's, there's a lot of very um, 
uh, systemic barriers that we need, that we're sort of working working to to try and overcome every day. And immigrants, of course, the lifeblood of this country. So, Absolutely. give us the details again on okay. when this yep. is happening and uh, right. where, where people should go if they want to join in. Okay, super. So it's um, next Thursday, March the uh -huh. 22nd, at the Metro Toronto Convention Centre. Uh, it starts at six o'clock. If people want to purchase tickets, and everybody is is welcome and encouraged to join us. And so you can get ticket information at from our website, which is skillsforchange.org, or by calling 416-658-3101, and the extension is 223. Thank you so much. Thank Congratulations you. again, Juan. Thank you, Tracy. Great on you. Thank you so much. Have fun next Thursday. Thank you so much. Thank you. And Marilla Fernandez, uh, yes. just to let our viewers yes. know, she will be hosting this event, and certainly it will be a great event. City TV is a sponsor.